Hey everyone, Jack Jost is here from Landscaper's Guide. Thank you so much for, for watching our videos, for checking out our podcast. We doubled our audience this year, and I'm thrilled to do that because we've had so many cool guests on the show. We really create this show to serve this, the snow and landscape industry with sales, marketing, and leadership ideas. And this year, uh, you know, I've, I've been doing, it's the end of 2022. I've been doing video for almost 15 years. I've made thousands of videos. I've made tens of thousands of mistakes. And, uh, and you know, an annual tradition is to do our blooper reel. So I hope you enjoy today's show where we feature not only some of my mistakes from the year, but also some of our clients. Well, so how is it being up there, Mark? I'm a little nervous, I ain't gonna lie. Well, Jack, she's coming right at you. I don't know how to control her. I would not recommend that pace to anyone else. Whoa. <laughs> can cut all this right. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Jess, we, I don't know why we would. <laughs> Jess, why does this horse keep going backwards? We're giving Wendy, Winnie, a uh, an apple. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's how I eat my apples too. Hey everyone, Jack Joss is here, CEO at Ramblin' Jackson. I've got a press pass. <laughs> it's the, the thinking duck face. The yes. thinking duck face, I like it. <laughs> this, this, is the, this is the looper now. Scale first, uh. row second with the thinking duck face. <laughs> we're producing so much content. I we're producing exactly We're producing content about producing the content. Exactly, that's even better. Behind the scenes of behind the scenes. Yes, whoa! <laughs> So hey, thank you so much for visiting Forever Green Landscape Service. No, all right. If you're looking for commercial landscape, no, if you're looking for landscape maintenance, something like that. That was really good. I just want you to smile at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> should I be wearing a vest? You're kind of, I should I've probably, got one I, for you. I've got to get a vest. You're, yeah, you're kind of missing Go out. Go in there and get, it's, there's one hanging in the closet. There's, I have one in every closet in my house. And that's what's inspiring to me about public speaking is you, kind of got to get your ass handed to you every once in a while. <laughs> right now I'm out on a hike in Colorado. It's 24 degrees, but it's not really that cold unless you're a baby. I want to tell you the truth. I am hiking and I'm going to eat chicken wings for breakfast. <laughs> Leftover chicken wings. Hey, if you don't have those things, just look, you've got, uh, here we are with Angelica and Evan, and you guys are students at, uh, where? Brigham Young, Brigham Young University. I'm out. <laughs> I'm Scott Deemer, founder of Outdoor Craftsman. Your eye contact's really important because if you look off, it makes you look kind of shifty. Shifty. I'm Chris Holthauser, CEO at Outdoor... <laughs> does it say? I'm oh, sorry. Start over. Two. Wait, step two. <laughs> step two. There's a blooper. From Fort Collins to Denver, we serve the entire front range. <laughs> F -f 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 front range. I actually broke out an eye and I know it doesn't look like it. Do it one more time. Uh, what was your energy level? Uh, like an time. eight or seven probably. Okay, I need 11. Oh, you bastard. Your hell yes customers know that you're the right fit for them. And I've made a really easy, is it, you know what? Forget it. I guess you need bloopers, so you can keep that one. ka -chings, bings. Ooh, look at that dust coming off the gloves. In today's podcast, I'm going to share with you some things you should do, like sing. We offer a variety of plants and products. Thank you for watching this video. My voice is just sounds like I'm on a hole. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this video. We really appreciate you watching this video. I look forward to seeing y'all at the nursery real soon. Appreciate you, thank you. I love you, man. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed t today's pot. All right. <coughs> John Justice to the office for your medication. John Justice to the office for your medication. Watch this video next. No, check out the video below. Uh, Watch this video next to check out to see. Nope, 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 nope. Can you make a video of outtakes too? Do I need a clap? Please. I can do that part. Watch this video to see more about what happens next with your. Watch this video to learn more about what happens next with your landscaping project. That was pretty good, but I. It's not great. 
All right, I like that take, I'll take it. That's a wrap. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out these bloopers. You know, um, video is incredibly powerful. I had a guest on the show, Jason Turpin, who shared that he, he, he invests over $40,000 in video a year because the videos keep working for him and he's actually replaced two full-time employees with videos. Videos can create so much leverage for you. You make them once and they can sell consistently to every customer that comes in, build it into your sales process, and you can use it for training. So if you'd like to learn more about video, reach out to Ramblin' Jackson. We have a 500 square foot video studio. One of the cool things here is it's relaxed, it's quiet, it's clean. We have all the gear, lights, camera, action, video equipment, everything you need to make a video. But most importantly, we can direct you on what to say and help you build sales videos that, that shorten your sales process, that get you out of sales. So if you wanna learn more about that, check out ramblinjackson.com slash video. And hey, I hope you have an amazing holiday. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We'll see you next year. And uh, thanks so much for, for watching and listening to the Landscapers Guide. I really appreciate it. And uh, look forward to creating some more content for you next year. And uh, it's been really fun having clients come. We've got a ton of cool gear and uh, it's a really, whatever. <laughs>